Today at Grace Episcopal Church, residents braved the cold weather to come out for Ash Wednesday, where Reverend Harry Chip Elliott was there with Ashes to Go, a new system he has implemented that makes it a little easier for people to receive their ashes. So uh, what brings you folks out here today? Well, about two years ago, a uh, movement started calling Ashes to Go, and what we're what trying to do is get people that normally wouldn't come into a church to experience the beginning of Lent and repentance and, and just experience what it's like to, to kind of repent and, and take on a new form of life. So we're coming out to the people instead of making them come into us. The interesting idea. How's the uh, turnout been today so far? Well, we've been here about a half an hour to 40 minutes, and we've had probably 12, 14 people go by. How, how late are we staying out today? Today we're just going to about 1 o'clock. It's a little chilly out here. Yeah, it's very cold out. It's called the Imposition of Ashes, and traditionally in the Catholic branches of the church, and that's Roman Catholic, Lutheran, Episcopal, etc., um, on Ash Wednesday, we impose ashes and we just re remind people, and as we impose them, we say, remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It, put just, it puts us in touch with our humanity and then where we've come from and eventually where we all end up going. So why do you think this is important? I believe it's important because it gives me a chance to reflect on why this season is so important. Um, you know, it gives me a chance to make a sacrifice like Jesus did for us. And this is a very good time, 40 days and 40 nights is a serious sacrifice for me. And um, this is why I do it. What is Ash Wednesday all about? Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, Lent this 40 day period of, in the church. And it's a call to the people of the church, the Christian church, for repentance, uh, looking at themselves, looking at themselves in relationship with God. So it, it's the beginning of Lent. What have you uh, given up? What have I given up? In the Actually, past. in the past, or when I was young, it would be things like candy and cake and, and things like that. But as I've gotten older, um, instead of giving something up like that, which you know, after 40 days you just go back to it, I'd rather give something up to God, so I will add something into my routine by um, helping out in a shelter or helping out in a soup kitchen or adding something into my life that, that benefits other people and makes me really reflect on, on my life. Uh, what, is, what have you done? Then? What is this year's... Uh This year, I'm going to be working, uh, hopefully establishing a soup kitchen right here. 